Welcome back. Steady, steady. Take it easy. down now. Missed him. Hang on, BD.
Okay, okay. The force is with me. Let's keep going. Seer, they couldn't save our Mayas. He gave his life for this. I'm sorry. I know you did your best, Cal. And the Empire? They did not track us. Hey, Scrapper. Glad you made it back in one piece. Master Cordova, did you find a way across the abyss? No, but you may have, Cal. Boat and I were able to find some interesting data in the archives. Let's show them what we dug up. Centuries ago, the Republic established the colony on Kobo to study a stellar anomaly known as the Abyss. Santari Kree led the research team. That sea with them. Early attempts to navigate the Abyss ended in disaster. The Republic was on the verge of abandoning the project. And then guess who volunteers to fly in alone and discovers a planet on the other side? Dagon. Using the data from his voyage, Kree invented the Abyss Compass to guide others safely to Tannel. The Republic established a settlement. The Jedi built a temple. Just like you said, Cal. Regrettably, a time of peace and prosperity was disrupted when Outer Rim Marauders invaded. I saw them too. But how'd they get across the Abyss? They must have stolen a compass. Don't worry, we won't be so careless. Overwhelmed, the Republic abandoned Tanalor, and the Jedi Council ordered Creed to destroy the compass. Dagangera refused and rebelled against the Order. That is a Gendai. They do not often ally with other species. Looks like Ravis has been working with Dagon for a lot longer than we thought. So the Order sent Jedi to secure the compasses. Dagon murders them over it. Jedi. Killing other Jedi. But Centauri said that Dagon was the key to Tantalor. Maybe he is young Jedi. Despite my efforts, those compasses you brought me were beyond repair. However, records indicate that three were unaccounted for. So you're saying one might still be out there? Yes, and Dagon sent his army to look for it. <laughs> I'd ask you to stay and help us, but I recognize that look. Oh, look. Hope. That planet could be a haven for those who stand against the Empire. So you coming with us? I mean, Grace can make room on the Mantis. For all of you. No. This place needs me. The Hidden Path needs me. Cordova? I'm sorry, my friend. But for now, my place is on Jeddah with Seer. Let me prepare a data stick so you'll have access to our research wherever your journey takes you. Let me guess. You're staying too. When we first met, I thought that what we shared was... unique. Survivors. Fighting together against the Empire who took our families. Helped me realize I wasn't alone. As did you. But there is a galaxy full of people who have suffered as we have. It's as Seer said. 
Perhaps you have found a sanctuary for them. Perhaps. If we can get to it. I will join you. Besides, it's been far too long since I've made Grease's hair stand on end. See you back on the Mantis night, sister. We should return to Kobo soon. I'll just need a moment here. The longer we wait, the bolder these raiders grow. You're upset about our bias. Aren't you? Of course. But this is not the first life lost in our struggle. And it will not be the last. I know, but we were so close here. Brother Armias served the cause faithfully. And that service lives on through our determination to keep moving forward. What happens to the safe house now? It will be a long time before we can risk sending anyone to collect what remains. Cal, find Tanelor. Imagine how many lives we could save. What's keeping us? Kobo calls. Right. 